Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Dustin Kreis, and today we're going to do a Drinking with Dustin segment. And kind of a special one, um, because I just got this recipe from a fellow YouTuber, and that is Softutaku. He just did a video not too long ago where he unboxed the package from Grub Gun and was enjoying a screwdriver while, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, doing the unboxing. And he started talking about using gin. In it, and I, I kind of got intrigued by that, so I started to uh, talk to him about it, and he messaged me back with this little bit of a recipe that he does for his screwdrivers. And the weird thing about it is, I always associate screwdrivers with uh, just vodka and orange juice, but he actually uses gin, and I'm not sure the exact gin he uses. I just happen to have Tanqueray here, so I figured, uh, yeah, we'd go ahead and make a soft utaku. Uh, screwdriver. So you're going to need the gin, <clears throat> you're going to need orange juice, you are going to need ginger ale, which I've already opened this can and kind of had a little bit of it, and you're going to need a lime. So <clears throat> here's what we're going to do. I've been playing around with this recipe a little bit. I actually made one, I made a video of this before, and it just didn't work out right. Um, I couldn't get the mixture right, so because I'm kind of just flying by the seat of my pants here. So what we're going to do, <clears throat> we're going to take two ounces of gin, And this is my handy dandy new measuring cup for making drinks. It's got a bunch of different measurements on it. So really, no matter what re uh, what the recipe calls for, whether it be in um, milliliters or ounces or whatever you want, I have it covered. To that, <clears throat> we're going to add two ounces of the ginger ale. And let's go ahead and just dump that in there and <clears throat> get that started getting that chilled down. And then on top of that, we are going to add two ounces of orange juice. Put that down there. Now I already have two ice cubes in this glass to sort of um, chill it down a little bit. So let's go ahead and stir it all together. Get everything nice and mixed up there. little bit of an interesting taste. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> one of the other weird things about it, other than using the gin and the ginger ale, is adding a twist of lime. So let's go ahead and get a little bit of a lime peel here. And I actually hate peeling limes because they're just, unlike a lemon, the, the skin is just so thin and it's actually really difficult to get a good slice of lime. Oh, that smells great. All right. Go ahead and twist them and drop them in. Stir it up a little bit more. <clears throat> All right, let's see if this um, this ratio works out a little bit better. What I did last time was um, is I just added too much ginger ale and too much um, orange juice. So I figure a one to one to one ratio would probably you know, make something a little bit better. But hopefully um, Soft Utaku is watching this and of course when he it comes up in his feed and he sees his name in the title, he'll watch this and then um, I will uh, not challenge him but uh, request that he makes a Drinking with Soft Utaku video where he actually goes through his real recipe for this. So anyway, this is my attempt at making the drink and let's see how it goes. That is a lot better. Um, <clears throat> what happened was everything got washed out with the OJ. And in this, because there's less orange juice, um, the ginger ale is allowed to come through a little bit more. So you get like that, especially when you use like Verner's, because Verner's is one of those ones that has kind of a burn to it, kind of a bite. That comes through. I mean, everything just kind of comes through. You get sort of the, um, the pininess of the gin. And... Uh, definitely um, the lime twist is coming through on this one. And I have to say, um, that is really good and quite different than what I'm used to. Um, <clears throat> now, when I make these in the future, um, I'm probably going to go back to vodka um, instead of using gin just because um, when I make my martinis, they're usually two to three shots of gin. <clears throat> and I burn through gin pretty quickly, whereas vodka, I always have like vodka just around. So 
I'll probably go back to vodka um, for this, which will, um, instead of getting that gin taste, because vodka is kind of tasteless in mixed drinks, um, it really will allow the OJ and the, the ginger and the lime to come through, as opposed to having sort of that <clears throat> gin hit, which I understand why he likes that. And it definitely does make the drink taste a, a bit different. But for simple economic reasons, I think I'll go back to vodka. But anyway, yeah, <clears throat> um, Soft Otaku, if you're out there watching this, um, definitely uh, post a video where you make your own version of it because I want to see what exactly um, the ratios are that you use uh, to make this because, you know, a 1 to 1 1 ratio is uh, pretty good. But uh, if there's a if you make it a bit differently, then I would like to know so I can get the the true essence of the drink. But anyway, guys, um, I'm gonna go enjoy this and enjoy some uh, more nor northern exposure. And uh, yeah, so I don't know when the game room tour is coming, but it'll be coming soon. Um, just trying to get some things nailed down before I uh, get that video up, but it'll be coming. So anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time.